What's up guys, Static here with another really quick Minecraft tutorial and now a lot of you guys have asked me how, to, how I made my own texture pack and so I'm going to teach you how to do that today. Now one very popular method of making your own texture pack is to simply go into your .minecraft folder and edit all of the image files. The problem with this is that sometimes it doesn't work. I mean, I know for me personally, um, my Minecraft will pretend that it's, or act like it's loading up an update, but it'll stop at around about 90% and won't go any further. Uh, and then you need to delete your bin and do all kinds of junk to get it to work again. So I'm not going to be teaching you guys this method. I'm going to be teaching you a better option, which is to create your own texture pack completely. And the benefits to this option are that not only will it most likely work, uh, but also you can create a whole heap of different texture packs. So you could create a dark texture pack if you wanted to. You could create a cartoony texture pack, so on and so forth, and choose between the different packs. All right, so first I'm going to show you how to create a 16 by 16 texture pack, which is the default texture pack size that Minecraft uses. Later on in the tutorial, we'll get onto HD texture packs. However, it should be noted that the HD texture packs are made in very much the same way that a 16 by 16 pack is made. The only difference really being that you need to use MC Patcher. So basically the way we're going to start our texture pack is you want to create a new folder on the desktop or wherever you're going to be working. It doesn't really matter what you name the folder. Uh, once you've created your folder, you want to go down into the start menu, go to your search bar and type percent app data percent and hit enter. You can also use the run menu and type exactly the same thing. You want to go then to your uh, .minecraft folder into the bin and find your minecraft.jar. Now it might not have .jar after it, but you'll see over here in the type column that it is a jar file. Now you don't want to just double click this, you want to right click it open with and you want to open it with some sort of an archiver program so I'm going to use WinZip but you can use something like WinRAR or the like so once you open that up you can get rid of the bin you don't need that anymore and you also want to open up your new folder now what we want to do at this point is drag across the files and images and stuff that we want to edit and it should be noted that you only need to drag across what you intend to edit. So for example, if I only wanted to edit the armor, I could just drag across the armor and leave everything else out. When I then went to use this, te uh, this texture pack, anything that I hadn't edited would just revert back to the default. So what you want to do is you can drag across your armor, the art, environment, GUI, item, misc, mob and terrain. Now once you've got those you'll also want to scroll down and find a couple of other files. And you don't need to worry about these class files. What you want to find is pack.png, pack.txt and particles. So we'll copy, copy across all three of those. And you also want to find terrain.png. Now, these files that we've got here are the main files that we're going to be editing to make our texture pack. Once you've got all these files, this is where you can start to get really creative. Uh, keep in mind, though, when you're editing these images, that you use image editing software that supports transparency. So you can't just use uh, Microsoft Paint or something like that. If you do, it ends up creating all these black boxes everywhere and... Uh, has other really weird effects. So make sure you use something like Photoshop, GIMP or Paint.net. If you can't get Photoshop, Paint.net and GIMP are free I believe and you can find links to those in the description below. From this point it's pretty easy to edit your texture pack. All you need to do is double click on the image file that you want to edit. So for example I'm going to edit my terrain.png uh, I'm going to be opening it up in Photoshop, but you can open it up in Paint.net or GIMP, as I've mentioned earlier. And you just want to zoom in to the texture that you want to change. So, for example, I want to change my glass texture here and get rid of some of these specs. So, you can either you know just get your eraser and erase some of the some of the color in the texture that you want to change, or you can uh, like grab your pen tool and change the color to the color that you want. Now each of these little squares here uh, is one pixel, corresponds to one pixel, and each of the squares for the textures is 16 pixels by 16 pixels, which is why it's a 16 by 16 texture pack. 
Uh, so obviously in the HD texture packs you have many more pixels to work with and you can make more detailed textures. Now also if there's a texture pack that you like the textures of and you want those in your own texture pack, you can just copy them across. Uh, so for example, if I had two pex texture packs open and I wanted this uh, my, my diamond block to look the same as the redstone block from another texture pack, I'd select the redstone block in the other texture pack, copy that paste it across and obviously you paste it into your own texture pack and you just want to move it into place simple as that and you can merge the layers if if you would like anyway, once you're done you then want to save your file and exit out of it I'm not going to save it because I don't want to make I don't want to save the changes now the other things you want to keep in mind are this pack png and pack.txt. Now the pack.txt is where you'd write the description for your pack and the pack.png is basically an image that shows how your texture pack looks. So for this what you'd want to do is go into your texture pack once you're done if you've made some radical changes and take a screenshot that really shows off the texture pack and it's a good idea to then paste that screenshot into this little square here so you get it exactly the same size. If you haven't made any major changes there's no real need to change this but it does give the texture packs a nice feel. Now keep in mind that if you plan on making your texture pack to distribute and upload to Minecraft.net and for it to become a popular texture pack like the Doku pack so on and so forth, generally those kind of texture packs edit all of these so you would include another pack.png so on and so forth. Once you're done with the editing, all you want to do is select all of these files and you want to send them to a compressed zipped folder. Now you must send it to a .zip, so if you're using something like WinRAR Archiver, um, you can compress all of these files and make sure you select to send it to a zip. Now once you've got the zip, name that whatever you want to call your texture pack and that's your texture pack created. Now all you need to do is transfer that into Minecraft. Now there are two ways that you can drop this texture pack into Minecraft. The first is to just navigate to our .minecraft folder and in there there will be a texture packs folder. You just copy and paste this zip into that folder. Or what you can do if you don't want to go through all that again is open up your Minecraft. And once you've logged in, click on this mods and texture packs button and open texture pack folder and that will bring up the texture packs folder for you this is where you copy your texture pack into once it's in there all you need to do is select the texture pack you'd like to use and you're done simple as that now as I've mentioned creating a HD texture pack is almost exactly the same as creating a normal texture pack all of the steps are the same except when you're editing the image files uh, Naturally, a, a HD texture pack, as I've said, is going to have more pixels to work with than just the 16x16 16 16 texture pack. The HD texture packs come in four sizes. There's a 32x32 32 pack, 64x64, 128x128, and 256x256. So if you're making one of the larger texture packs, what you want to do is basically get your default texture pack, and you want to resize this to whatever texture pack size you'd like to make. So for example, I'll show you how to make a 32 by 32 pack. 32 by 32 is twice as large as 16 by 16. So you want to double the image size. In Photoshop, what you want to do is go to image and then go down to image size, open that up. And you'll see here you've got 256 by 256 as far as the height and the width for this current image. So what you want to do, as I've mentioned, a 32 by 32 pack is twice as large as a 16 by 16. So all you need to do is double this number here, which means that we want our new image to be 512 by 512. Now also, to get the best results, you want to go down to this drop down menu here and select nearest neighbor. Uh, basically, this is going to give you an image that's not blurred or anything. It's going to look as crisp as a normal Minecraft texture pack would. Um, if you don't select this, it will turn out blurry. So then you just want to go OK, and there you go. There's your 32 by 32 texture pack. And as you'll see, if we zoom in to the, uh, the glass block here, this corner part here, which would normally be one pixel, is now a 2 by 2 pixel area. So you can get a lot more detailed. 
Same goes with your 64 by 64, 128 by 128, and 256 by 256 texture packs. The difference is you need to multiply the number by 4, 8, or 16 respectively. So to get a 128 by 128 texture pack, you'd multiply that original number by 8. Pretty simple. If you need uh, help doing those calculations, just get out your calculator or um, the Microsoft calculator and multiply whatever that number is by the multiplier that you need. The reason I go into all this nonsense about multipliers and whatever else is because not all of the images are the same size, so I can't just tell you resize it to this size. Uh, for example, if we were to resize the particles image here, you'll see that the image is 128 by 128, whereas our previous image was 256 by 256. So I can't just set this to 512 by 512, I'd need to double this number. So to illustrate, let's just pretend we were going to make this into a 128 by 128 texture pack. So to do that, we'd need to then times these numbers here by 8. So you want to do 128 times 8, which means we need to now make this 1024. And as you see, that is much, much larger. So we'll zoom out of that. And there we go, there's our layout for our 128 by 128 texture pack. So once you've edited all the files that you want, again, just send them to a compressed zipped folder and move them to the texture packs folder in the .minecraft folder. However, as I've mentioned, you do need MC Patcher. If you don't have MC Patcher, I've provided a download link in the description. You want to then open MC Patcher, and then you'll see this HD textures option here. Make sure this is clicked. Once this is clicked, hit patch. It'll patch your Minecraft, and then you're good. You can use your HD texture pack. Simple as that. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you've got any questions at all, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. And if you did enjoy this tutorial, guys, if it did help you out, please do leave a like. It does help me out more than you might know. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time.